Hi, this is Joe from Prep Agent. I'm here with George Menares. He just passed his real estate exam in California. He's got a unique take on his entry into real estate and what he's going to do moving forward. After you're done watching him, make sure you check the show notes below. I'm going to provide a lot of links to everything he's doing. Pretty interesting guy, started in real estate when he was 16. And George, I'm going to let you take it from here. Awesome. Thank you, Joe. I wanted to First off, thank you for allowing me this opportunity to be on your show. I think it's awesome, the platform you're providing. Um, in terms of uh, my actual journey into real estate, it started at a young age. I was uh, 16 years old when I actually got introduced into the whole real estate world. Uh, when I was younger, my family and I, we would move a lot. So um, it wasn't until I was 16 when I actually got in contact with the broker that I'm working with now. And he took me under his wing. Uh, I began interning with him at his brokerage, at his firm, and um, just got exposed to a lot of things I feel many people don't get exposed to until after passing their exam and actually getting their license and signing with the brokerage. So um, as you said, you know, it is a unique uh, take on that, um, which I'm sure it's not a common occurrence, but uh, kind of fell into my lap. But I did have the initiative to actually go forward and inquire more about what he did and uh, hopefully follow in his steps. So I took the exam about two weeks ago in San Diego, and um, it was uh, pretty nerve wracking. I'm not going to lie, but um, I have a couple of tips. I put together a couple of notes for everybody watching. Hopefully you guys benefit from it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So, um, you know, due to this day and age when we have the internet, I think it's super important to take advantage of the resources you have online. Um, prep page. So first off, uh, preparation for the exam, right? Number one, I want to go over uh, prioritizing your time and learning to manage it in a sense that you're able to actually study in a very effective manner, right? So I'm not even saying like put in, you know, three, four hours a day. I'm just saying put in 45 minutes to an hour a day, set some time aside and just start, um, you know, reviewing the material, studying it and actually learning it, learning the concepts, the, the vocabulary, the terminology, and I know I'm not the only one that said this before on the show, but vocabulary really is, really is key. So really nail down on the terms. Um, also acronyms, acronyms are your friends. As silly as they may sound and as they may, may be, um, they really, really helped me. They came uh, really, they were really useful for me. Um, I learned them and when you get into the actual exam setting to the actual uh, testing room, you'll be handed like a, a like a whiteboard, right? And you will have your, like your erasable marker to actually write down uh, whatever you need to write down. I really suggest writing down those acronyms because they come in handy. Um, another thing is um, really uh, don't, don't, it's all about mentality too. I think mentality plays a huge part and a huge role in this. You want to actually um, don't doubt yourself. See, when I was, when I was in the process of studying and, and getting ready for the exam, I, I doubted myself and I realized that was something I wasn't supposed to do. I shouldn't have done because um, I knew what I, what I knew, right? I took advantage of, of my resources. Um, I listened to a lot of uh, Joe's audio, um, audio cast and you know what, I, I purchased this premium package which offered so many uh, different resources and I really, really, really nailed down on it. And honestly, um, I'm, I'm so thankful for it because now uh, I really learned what I needed to learn, right? So, um, so yeah, in terms, of, in terms of not downing yourself, I, I think that's, that's, it plays a huge role. Um, and then finally, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know, you just need to schedule your test. Schedule it and take the exam. Don't, don't uh, postpone it, don't push it back. See, that's something I'm guilty of too. I actually took a little longer than I should have to actually take my exam um, to actually schedule it, right? But once I did, I, I thought to myself, I should have done it earlier because once I passed it, it was, it was like a, it was a piece of cake, you know? And people just overthink and, and um, it's something that you really shouldn't because if you know your material, just like it goes with, with any other test, any other uh, subject, you'll pass and you'll do a great job. Good stuff. You got a lot of information and you really focus in on some key things. Obviously, you emphasize the vocabulary thing, which I love. And right. sounds like you emphasize a lot of confidence, which, and I like that you 
show that, you know, it wasn't easy for you. You're a little nervous. You're doing this at a young age. And although you got started early and you got your career going early, this test was still as new to you as it was to anybody. Yes. Yes. So yeah. th that doesn't change for anybody. It doesn't matter if you're 16. Well, you can't take when you're 16. When you're 18 or 25, 48 or 52, you know, right. everybody's got to enter that exam room brand new. Exactly. So, so no, and it's a very intimidating uh, setting. You know, I'm not going to lie. It was intimidating. You know, I, I walked in there and it was like all glass. It was like a glass room. You know, you, you had, um, you know, the testing site itself. It was just, you know, they, they, they checked everything. They made sure, you know, you, you weren't bringing anything in that wasn't allowed. And, um, and yeah, you know, it's very quiet. You're in there and it's, you know, you really have to focus on yourself once you're in. And I think it's about blocking out the distractions, just focusing in on yourself right? You know what you know, and just get in there and, and just block out everybody else and, and, and take the test, right? And um, don't feel pressured with the time, honestly. I think about three hours, and um, that was more than, than I needed, right? And as long as you know your stuff, I'm sure that's going to be way more than anybody's going to need. So in terms well, of time, be fine. That's good stuff. Is there anything else you want to add? Because that was a lot of info you shared, which was great. Yeah, no, no, I know. I shared it. I shared so much in such a uh, short amount of no, time. No, it was good. It was good stuff. But I wanted to go over that real quick. Um, I don't want to make this video too long for anybody watching. I'm sure um, they don't, you know, they're probably busy in themselves. So I just want to uh, put it out there real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping this, this helps everybody watching. Well, it does. Well, thank you so much for that. I just want to remind everybody, look at the show notes below for links to Anthony's information. And with that being said, it's Joe from Prep Agent. And See you later. Thank you. Bye. Mm.